Hi, I'm Luigi Piccinelli and in this video I will present our paper UniDepth, Universal Monocular Metric Depth Estimation. This is a joint work with Computer Vision Labs at ETH Zurich and sponsored by Toyota Trade Zurich project. In a nutshell, the proposed method aims at improving monocular depth estimation by lifting any need for priors, such as cameras, or any other simplification, such as scale agnostic estimation. In particular, UniDepth is capable of reconstructing a 3D structure of a scene with only one image as input and nothing else. Thanks to the scalable design and the output space representation, it achieves state-of-the-art results on different zero-shop depth estimation benchmarks. Monocular depth estimation is a notorious example of an ill-posed problem, since a 2D projection can result in infinite 3D scenes. In particular, monocular depth estimation presents its main weakness in appearance shift, like all other tasks, but also geometric ambiguity between scene 3D geometry and the image projective geometry. Different approaches have been proposed in the literature to solve this ambiguity. For instance, removing the metric component at all, or in addition, exploiting multi-view cues, or else removing at least ambiguity relative to the camera model, or even exploiting other pretend models and building additional module on top. Our approach is based on the assumption that directly predicting the 3D scene is more suited to break ambiguity. In particular, we rely on three components to achieve our goal. First, we exploit spherical representation to disentangle depths and camera components. Second, we use the information that monocular images can give, namely the invariance to any augmentation. Third, we take advantage of the intermediate camera prediction to condition the depth component, thus breaking reciprocal scale ambiguity. Now, let's see how we achieve this in more detail. The image is first passed to an encoder and both local, namely F, and global features, namely G, are extracted and projected. The features are processed through a series of cross-attention and self-attention layers to produce a non-parametric camera representation. This non-parametric representation corresponds to a dense map where each pixel defines the angles of the unprojected ray based on the camera module through that pixel. The camera parameters are then encoded and used to condition the set of dense features from the encoder. This operation here is the one named camera bootstrapping. Here we bootstrap the camera prediction to condition the depth prediction. We assume that in this way the relative ambiguity between depth scale and camera scale is partially solved. These features are then decoded into the final depth. And this is the architecture of unit depth. Our final 3D prediction is the concatenation of the camera angles and the predicted depth. By doing so, the two spaces are completely independent to each other and do not have an intertwined gradient. We can see more in detail here. In our design, we need to match both camera and depth to produce the final 3D. However, if the representation is spherical, namely the merging is a concatenation, then a periodic depth will not propagate through the camera components. On the other hand, Cartesian representation introduces an entanglement between camera and depth that is in contrast with our goal to remove ambiguity between projectivity and actual geometry. In addition, we propose a geometric invariance loss. In particular, we have a Siamese structure of UNIDEP with different augmented images. It is important to remember that different augmented images correspond to images captured by different apparent cameras. Then we enforce depth features condition on the camera to be consistent in the regions that match the original image. By doing so, we speculate that the depth features, once conditioned on the camera, should contain identical information for an identical scene captured by different cameras. Now let's see how the model performs on some depth estimation benchmarks. Here we use delta-1 metric with depth rescale based on ground truth to allow metric and non-metric methods to be directly compared. The design that I just presented results in achieving state-of-the-art performance for depth estimation on all main benchmarks. For more detailed results and results on other five benchmarks, we invite you to read our paper. Here we provide the output point cloud on a test image of IBM's dataset. The video is obtained by moving the camera in the monocular scene reconstructed by UniDepth. Here we predict the corresponding 3D point clouds for each frame of the track dataset. We do not apply any post-processing and we assume camera unknown. We can see a good consistency of the shapes a long time. This scene is from the Office TV series, so quite in the wild, and we did as before, no camera and no post-processing at all. To conclude, we would like to leave a few take-home messages for this work and the future ones. 
The first is that repetitive geometric structure primes like walls or people can be learned from data. However, we noticed that metric component is the first to fail in strong domain shifts. As a future work, temporal consistency or multi-view integration can be extremely helpful to improve and solve the remaining ambiguities. Thank you for watching the presentation of our paper. If you want to try our models or know more about the project, please visit our GitHub repo or our project page here linked.